police, fire, doctors, nurses, all the staff, all the specialists, everybody just saved my life. Most of the professional people that, that talked to me said either I'm a miracle or the luckiest person on earth, one of the two. So I'm very grateful to be here to be able to do this. I'm Hope, the wife. <laughs> um, that Saturday, he was hunting with Kevin. And I got the call, and I knew right away when he said we got him back, what he meant. And how he could do chest compressions that long until the ambulance got there is just beyond me. And what an outcome. Uh, we all went to West Shore, to the hospital, and the first cardiologist there was Dr. Tori Schmidt. He worked well over two and a half hours, I know, on him. And if it wouldn't have been for his determination, he wouldn't have been here. I had him on a ventilator, and the man spent quite a bit of time with us explaining what he did and said we need to move him. So we went across the river, <laughs> and Dr. Brian Corbelly was the first cardiologist we saw, and he explained the situation, how how bad it really was and that we needed to start ECMO and I tell you from there on he said you know the next 24 hours which he did not think we would make it and they were just completely amazing all the doctors the nurses were fantastic the housekeeper was just the sweetest lady in the world and when he was finally moved out of the CTICU after Dr. Hassan removed the ventilator I can't tell you how many, including Dr. Corbelly, made a special trip up to see him, to introduce himself and to see how we were. Dr. Mansour, the one cardiologist, and he said to him, you're responsible for bringing your son into this world, but he's responsible for keeping you in this world. I'd walk in the hospital, the receptionist would say, good morning, Hope, is Kevin here today? Everybody just went out of their way just to take care of us. I'm Kevin Myers, I'm the son. Um, the skill and the knowledge of everybody involved is unquestionable and what they were able to do. But to me, the most important thing was the compassion. Dr. Patel came up to me and he said, my goal is to see him walk out of this hospital. And about that time, one nurse came up and said, he's not responding to us. We need to get a head CT. And about that time, I saw Dr. Uden crying. Dr. Patel ran and I went back to the room and they had him packed in ice. His temperature went to 105.5. And they, at that point, he was off. The other two devices said they just unhooked the ventilator and put it on the bed and down the hall they went. And all those doctors went with him to CT. And he did a full body scan. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Mom, mom doesn't hug a lot of people. That's not mom. But I saw mom hug a lot of people and a lot of people hug mom throughout this, um, which was, you know, it just showed how much they cared. And that, that's the piece and part of why we, we reached out was that, you know, obviously, yes, they saved dad's life, um, you know, with the skill they had from start to finish. But, you know, it's just how they treated us and, and everything that was, was absolutely amazing. Think about your loved ones. Uh, you have how it's changed lives. It has changed mine drastically. I appreciate this woman uh, a lot more than, than I had in the past, which is my shortcoming, not yours. Uh, but we've gotten a lot closer. We spend more quality time together. And same with the rest of the family. I don't think it's been a day since this happened that I have not talked to Kevin on the phone. One thing I want to make sure we say is thank you, you know, for everything Absolutely. that UPMC did from minute one, second, you know, that he got to West Shore, through even today with, you know, the medical care he's still, that's still receiving the cardiac rehab, um, you, cardiac yes. therapy that he's going through. Everybody's been fantastic, so thank you. Um, it's probably, you know, just want to make sure we, we say that. We probably can't say it enough or loud enough. And I know that one day, Dr. Patel came up to the room upstairs because the nurse had said, what are you going to do with your follow-up care? And we were discussing because he was still learning things. And we had decided at that point, we made a decision that you wanted to stay with the cardiologist from UPMC. And Dr. Patel said, you know, we fully understand it's not just around the corner. But there's no way. I mean, <laughs> we are just so grateful. It's just been, been unbelievable throughout this.
everybody to, you know, to get to where we are compared to where we were. And that is because of UPMC. So, um, thank you.